What's up guys? So, I'm kinda pissed. Remember when I set that fuck in my David Dobrik video? Fuck. Well, good news, it's green, so saying that didn't matter. What I'm pissed about is I was watching my $15 an hour video and noticed that I said this. When I order a cheeseburger and you give me onion rings, you're not only telling me that you don't understand English, but there's a possibility you can't fucking read. And yet, the video is still green, but my most recent video where I bleeped out all the stuff I normally do, YouTube's like, sorry buddy, you can f*** off. And I'm just sitting here like, well, do you guys want to hear me say f*** or not? Because if I could use it in the context of making fun of someone's ability to read, then I should be able to use it in any other way I want. Actually, I might have spoke too soon because you do have the option to request a review and it looks like I'm back to green. Well, don't I look like an asshole? Anyway, speaking of asshole, you guys want to know something really stinky? The Hype House made a YouTube channel. So my last video was about one of their members, Daisy, doing a house tour. And on that house tour, I noticed something interesting. But if you're over 21 like me and can legally partake in the devil's lettuce, then you would notice that this object right here looks very similar to a dab pen. I also noticed in her Vlogsmas Day 21 video, after showing a bottle of Jack Daniels, she then showed Charlie, who sounded like she had been drinking a little. Hi, I'm drinking Baja Blast, not doing Renegade Dance, which is hard to find, but I love you. Ah! And apparently I wasn't the only one who noticed something like that because she deleted the video soon after. I asked her why on Instagram, but again, no response. But the consumption of alcohol by underage kids is probably the least of our worries, because not only do these kids think renting a mansion with 13 other people is cool, but they're basically a less talented Team 10. Uh, another question that we, like, get is like, uh, like, ever since these guys moved into that house, they think the actual act of being in that house makes them interesting. Anything they make now is more than likely gonna be taking place at that house or their video's gonna flop. Like, they made the house itself bigger than them because nobody knows who the f*** their members are, but they do know what the Hype House is. Like, even their own members, people who we all know live in the Hype House, have to put the words Hype House in their title because they know that's what gets them views. Like, I'm assuming their hype is made up of 40% kids who actually watch their content for entertainment and then the 60% is like people like me who watch it and are just like, wow, I can't believe people who bring nothing to the table are doing this. And just to prove to you that my criticisms are true, I'm going to be going over the first Hype House video that was all the way at number 12 on trending. Now, when I saw them post that they were trending on their Instagram story, I was like, oh shit, son, could today finally be the day? Are they finally going to show me something that makes me go back and change the title of my video to fat asshole misjudges kids? Are we finally about to see this so-called hype this house is named after? No, we're not. Well, we're really doing this. We're really doing it. Welcome. I love how they're in the TikTok bathroom. They have a whole fucking mansion, but they decide to take their sweet ass gamer chairs into their bathroom and film a video. Can y'all let me know in the comments the logic behind that? Like, that's how lazy they are. They know their fans recognize that bathroom more than most of their members, so they're like, yeah, this seems like the most cognate space to film. Oh, uh, what about that room behind us? What are you fucking stupid? That's where we sleep. Welcome to the Hype House channel. channel. <laughs> it's Thomas and Chase. Uh, the whole squad is not in this because a lot of the squad is not here right now. Dope. That's exactly what I wanted to hear when watching a Hype House video. None of the members are there except for the black guy and the former Team 10 member. Like, yeah, Charlie and Dixie are back home. The Lopez brothers are back home for a bit. The Wright brothers are back home. Ryland is back home. Like, so many people are just all over the place. and I, so we could clarify things for you. What the f was that? They just added a random winner graphic and then started a whole new sentence mid-sentence? So many people are just all over the place. And I, so we could clarify things for you. Who saw that and was like, yeah, that seems to be, that's trending tab material. I don't see anyone else who deserves that spot more. Like really, what was that? I, am I the only one that could see that? Did I win something? Like how bad do you have to fuck up to where you're just like, let's just add a random cut that says winner. Maybe no one will notice. A few questions people would generally ask, who is all in the Hype House? Everything we follow on our social medias, they're all listed in the Hype House, we collaborate with lots of people, a lot of people come in and out because they live in the area. Yeah. Even people that we don't follow, you guys will see people like Anthony, Jaden, Bryce, they're always over, but they're not actually like a part of our team. Okay, cool. The question though was who's in the Hype House, not 
who's not in the Hive House. I feel like since Redshirt is like the Grand Wizard of the whole house, we're gonna hear his input whether it makes sense or not. Mm -hmm. uh, the 19 people that we do follow on Instagram are current members. And we only have an Instagram and a TikTok, by the way, and a YouTube channel. Hold the phone. It says you're following 18 people, not 19. Did someone already get kicked out? Can't wait to find out who. Uh, another question that we, like, get is, like, uh, mm, like... I wouldn't expect these guys to be that funny, but instead of blasting my f***ing eardrums with retarded noise, you should have added that Sandy Cheeks clip where she said... <sighs> He has such a way with words. But nah, those winner graphics, top shelf comedy. Who lives here? Everyone does their own thing and a lot of people have their own homes, other places. Isn't who lives there and who's in the Hype House the same thing? I said this in my last video, but like their, their group as a whole is called the Hype House, but then their actual house is called the Hype House. So like you can be a part of them, but not even have to live there. And then when people ask you who you are and you're like, oh, I'm a member of the Hype House. And they're like, oh, so you live in the Hype House? And you have to explain to them that no, you don't live in the mansion. You live in an apartment across town. When are you gonna do a house tour? Um, we are, we are getting the house done more and more slowly. We don't wanna just give you a premature, just like welcome to our house. I hate to break it to you guys, but Daisy already did that, not to mention the countless other videos of people going through your whole house. Like, we already know what it looks like. Putting furniture in the main rooms of the house and showing us that is not a house tour. I want to see bedrooms. You have 10 plus people living in that f***ing house. If everyone's bedroom isn't done like Daisy's, I don't want to see the house. Tour. All right, guys, so everyone, a lot of these comments are like, where is Charlie and Dixie? Because they're always around here and then they're not. Well, seeing as that you already told us they were back home in the beginning of the video, I don't see why this is still a question. We get it. They're back home. They weren't going to pay $900 a month for a room. They have their own rooms at their own house. They are, they live with their family back home. They just come and make content with us here. And they're like some of our closest friends and like, they're just amazing people. <coughs> and we... We became like family with Charlie and Dixie ever since the first time we met them um, over a month ago. He's making it seem like Charlie and Dixie are taking weekly flights from Connecticut to California to make content. All you do is make TikToks with them because she still hasn't uploaded shit and, and the videos that do have her in it are just this. And a five, six, seven, eight. Boom. <laughs> I think who do you want? A lot of people also ask, do we own this house? No, we rent this house. We, we, there is an owner. We, we will one day own a, a house for this, but we just really wanted to, we wanted to do it already and dive into it. So we just rented this place. He said, we will one day have a house for this. For what? Making TikToks? You already do that. You're telling me you're doing all this so you can do it again in another house. You know, there are houses that are way smaller that you could have owned so you didn't have to get people from across the country to pretend to be a member of your group so you can attach their name to your group. I said group twice. What are the couples there? It's literally only Alex and Cover. Yeah. Alex and Cover is the only couple in this house. Official couple. Yeah. <laughs> Did they just let us know they were a couple? I know I'm not looking at my homie like that unless he's my soulmate. If you ever had a little party in the bathroom? Low key. Loki, we did have like 30 people <coughs> in this bathroom at one point for a TikTok. Yeah. That one with no one and Chase. In the shower. In the shower, there, oh was like, there was like 30 people in this bathroom. Imagine thinking having a party in your bathroom is cool. Not your sweet ass living room, but a bathroom where people take shits. Like you want to know something stupid? I bet that bathroom is off limits because of how much they film in there. Like instead of making one of the other bedrooms a film room, they're like... Let's film in the bathroom, guys. That's fucking sweet, radical. All the fucking that's what all the kids are doing nowadays, right? I'm 21. I should know. Like, if that was my room in the back, I'd be like, hey, guys, can we not do that here? Because I, I want to take my shits in peace. What is this Hype House channel going to be? We are going to try our best to get a couple videos a month where it's the full team. But given that it's 19 people, a lot of people live all over. That's going to be really hard. So we want to be putting out a couple videos a week of groups of people. I really don't see how he expects that to work because like, let's face it, how are you going to try to film with someone who lives across the f***ing country? He's smart with using the word try because I'm telling you now, the videos they upload are not going to be what you expect. He said if everyone's not there, then he's just going to do videos with groups of people. 
Isn't that what your videos already are? If I watch Alex's videos, he's gonna have a group of you guys in there, just like with Daisy's videos and Papper and the rest of you guys. Like if you can't film a video with everyone in the Hype House for the Hype House channel, then don't film a video. Like this dude, like this channel is basically gonna be this red shirt guy's second channel because his first one's not doing so good. And now with this, he has an excuse to film anything and anyone who breathes in the Hype House's direction. It's your favorite thing about living in the Hype House. I like the people in the community and I also like Having someone to talk to, like, because before I was a little, little lonely, but having, like, people to talk to whenever, wherever, or just someone there in general, like, at all times feels really nice, and, like, it's all the people you trust. Remember what he says about trust, because it's only a matter of time before someone exposes someone for doing something they didn't like. Watch, one day one of them is going to realize that he or she is not getting their fair share, and then dip with all the dirty little secrets they have on you fools. I think my favorite part, yeah, is the, is the family. It's like, it's actually a really good environment. Like whether whatever you guys have seen online or whatever, it's it's really, really great here. You know why it's great there? Because nobody can tell them what the f to do. You think if you were in a house full of 15 to 18 year olds that any adult would leave a bottle of Jack on the floor for anyone to grab? Every kid in that house has a golden ticket for that shit. Are you kidding me? They can get drunk and wake up hungover knowing that everyone else in the house is gonna be hungover also. Like obviously they're good at hiding that stuff because again, they're like 15 to 20 and they can't be loose with stuff like that. Apparently Daisy needs some more training though. She's the biggest burn out of the house of, out of everybody. Hi, I'm drinking yeah, Baja Blast. Okay, so just to avoid confusion, as of right now, this could change, that we could add people, whatever, but as of right now, Charlie, Daisy, Dixie, Alex, Ryland, Connor, oh, Papper, we call him Papper, Nick, Addison, Chase, Cover, Wyatt, me, Avani, Calvin, James, Andreas, Jack, Patty, and uh, Tony. And, and, and that's, that's our whole group. So out of all those people he mentioned, I followed all the girls because they're attractive and... Well, okay, not the ones who are underage. Calm down. But I also followed them because I feel like they're gonna slip up more than the dudes and I don't even have to follow the guys to realize when they mess up because they can tie their shoes the wrong way and someone on TikTok will complain about it. Obviously though, I can tell what topics are worth making a video and just the fact that this video was all the way as high as number 12 on trending was reason enough. So that was basically it for their intro video. I literally learned nothing new. All the questions they answered were answered by other members of their group in videos they made weeks before this one. Like this video was so pointless. Instead of making a proper intro video, they literally had to explain to us where Charlie and Dixie were as if their millions of fans don't already know. Like it's crazy. My last video was titled The Next Team 10. Then I changed it the next day to What's Inside the Hype House and this happened. Literally all their hype comes from their name because their content is lackluster. I'll say that again. Their content is lackluster. Like, let me just show you Red Shirt's latest videos. You're telling me someone claiming to have hype is not even pulling 2K on his videos? Blasphemy. And then Lil Huddy, I guess, is averaging more, but it's still below average for someone with his subs unless he puts Hype House in the title. Like I said before, you can't call yourself the Hype House when all your hype is on one app. Yeah, you have some people that are popular over here and some that are popular on this app, but none of your members, and I may be wrong, but none of your members have consistent popularity throughout their social media. And when they do like Charlie, she doesn't post anything. You're telling me the whole time she was with you guys, you didn't help her film a video? How am I expected to believe that you guys are gonna try to film with everybody when just a week ago, everybody was already there, but you guys decide to make this YouTube channel after they're all back home? Tell me, Bill, how much sense does that make? That just makes no fucking sense. I couldn't agree more, Bill. But yeah guys, that's it. I'm gonna keep an eye on the Hype House because these guys seem to be all talk and no show, and then when they do show, you'd wish they kept talking. Until next time, peace. Hi, I'm drinking Baja hey, Blast, yeah, not yeah, doing a Renegade dance, which is hard to find, but I love you.